Hey, how's it going? So I'm Jordan Kavusi. I'm one of the owners of MoMacant.com. And it's important to work your mind out, read every day, and read stuff that sucks every day. Like, if you really are afraid of reading programming, you should read that every day. Um, so a part of getting that mentality is also doing physical things that suck every day. That's why um, I do those crazy workouts. So I'll be posting more videos and I'll giving like why I do them and how I do them. Um, so today I did, um, I obviously read in the four books. Um, I'll show you a picture in the video. I read every day in those four books. Just two pages, I just tell my mind I'm just gonna read two pages in each book. And then um, I did the, uh, today I did 500 pull-ups. Took about, I wasn't keeping track of time, so I, I think it must have been a couple hours. And then it was enough for somebody to come up to me, two people came up to me and was like, how many pull-ups are you doing? Like it, it kind of made an impression and so you know you're on the right track if people are, are walking up and telling you that. So, so I did 500 pull-ups and then and I ran 10 miles. So how do you do 500 pull-ups and run 10 miles? So you gotta have gloves. So you can get these at any gas station. They're like three bucks, okay? So you can do them without gloves, but at, at about 100 reps, um, you're gonna start hurting. Your hands are gonna get really soft and then you start ripping your hands up so and you also need duct tape so what you do is the duct tape is you cover your 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 calluses so you cover that and you cover this so you just you go like this you always go like that hold your hand out spread them out and then you just go over it like that and then do one more but then make sure you get like right in between the thumb. And that's it. You go like that and then you cut it. And then you can, so you're good. And then, and then you do this with each hand, right? But I feel like right here is, I, this hand is fine right there. It's, it's this hand that gets it the most, so I cover that. And I'll cover this. And then while you're doing your workout, you do need to bring duct tape to re to re duct tape it. Um, so, and then, then you put your glove on. So, I found that this is the easiest way to do it and the tape works really good. Like, it's phenomenal. So, just like that, and now you can do 500 pull-ups. So, so how do you do them is, first of all, don't just start out doing 500 freaking pull-ups because you're going to injure yourself. So first, you got to have some sort of a plan. So the plan is, um, my plan is usually when I get to about 100 reps, I'll start doing sets. So up to 100, I do sets of 10. So, but, or whatever, set up to 50, it doesn't really matter. But eventually, for sure at 100 reps, do sets of five. So, because if you do any more, you're going to run a risk of injuring yourself. And so at the same time I'm doing my pull-ups, I'll rub the crap out of my forearms like this a lot. And then I'll, I'll go like this, I'll straighten my hands out and lay on the ground and I'll push them. Um, here, I'll, I'll stand up a little bit. So uh, you want your hands like this on the ground and so you're stretching your, your biceps. And you do that for like 20 seconds. I do that like, every like 30, yeah, like every 50 pull-ups just to re-stretch your arms. And so, so you're rubbing them down and you're re-stretching at the same time. And you got your gloves and your duct tape on both your hands. And that's how you can do 500 pull-ups, sets of five reps. Hey, if you want to do more than five reps, you can go ahead, but I mean, the guy who broke the record, he was doing sets of five reps. Um, David Goggins, or there, I'm not 100% sure Goggins did, I'm sure he did, but I know for sure for a fact, the kid that beat Goggins' record, world record, he has an on video of him doing it, and he was doing sets of five reps. 
for 17 hours. So, um, yeah, at about like, I would say about 250, you're gonna wanna quit, um, start freaking out. Uh, but today at about 450, I was getting a little messed up. <laughs> like I was just getting a little worried, but I was all right. I mean, but usually about 250, your, your little negative mind starts coming in. And so, um, but yeah, remember to keep rubbing your, your forearms like this. And then um, if your shoulders feel funky, just always like keep going like that, stretch it out. And then you can even get this long tube looking bar thing. And then you, you kind of go behind your arms like this with it. And that's really good for your shoulders. And so, um, and your traps. And so um, with this little tube bar thing, so you need to keep your arm straight as possible. So that works really good. So that's how you do 500 pull-ups. But first try doing 100 pull-ups. And then, and I know it's gonna be hard, so just stay there until you get your 100 pull-ups. You might be able to do like 10 at once, wait like 30 seconds, do another 10, wait 30 seconds, do another 10 until you get to 100 and then you build up to this. You don't just hit 500. You, you, you know, so your first, if it takes you two hours to get to your first 100 pull-ups, whatever. Just sit there till you get your 100 pull-ups. And then in a couple more, in a couple days later, or four or five days later, do it again. Try to get 125. Then four or five days later, do it again. Do 150. And eventually, you're going to get, you can you keep repeating that pattern once a week. Do pull-up day. And you're gonna you eventually will get to 500 so so then after that um first before i did anything i always stretch for 40 minutes do a bunch of yoga stretches and then i rub my legs um on this guy right here so this is how you run you need this thing it's like 20 30 bucks at any running store so so i stretch out and i for sure rub my legs with that um, before I work out, before I do anything, it takes about 40 minutes. Um, I do these stretches with your legs and yoga stretches and stretch your hip. I'll stretch my ankles. Um, do everything for the legs. So, so I'll do that and then I'll do the 500 pull-ups. And then I'll go back to stretching again. I gotta re-stretch out my legs because it's been a couple hours. So, and I'll, I'll do the rolly thing. So I'll, I'll re-stretch again, take about maybe 25 minutes it's not as bad as the first one so 25 minutes and then um uh, then i'll go ahead and, and hit the running and then when i'm running i have uh if i'm indoors i'll have if i'm just doing 10 miles i'll have one jug of water and then usually um like a no call bar no call bar so and then i go ahead hit the the for the 10 miles and then when i get done running um, I'll have I'll have to re-stretch out again. You gotta stretch when you get done running. Um, about 30 mi minutes of run of stretching or longer the better. You want to do 40 minutes after you run. The longer the better because that's when you're you really just tore the shit out of your your ankles and your your um, your legs. So so you gotta do this, do that thing, ro roll it all out, and then stretch. Um, and then that way you can, you'll heal a lot faster. And then I do this every day as far as stretching, you know, 40 minutes before I work out and then a little bit after. So it's important if you want to run another 10 miles, like in three days or two days, you have to stretch. Stretching is so important. It's like, that is the only way you can run more than like, you know, 20 miles a week, you gotta stretch. Like, or if you wanna run like 10 miles at once or 15 miles, 16 miles, 18 miles at once, you have to stretch before and you gotta stretch after. Maybe even stretch at night or if your legs are gonna be so jacked up, <laughs> it's not gonna work. Uh, and that's how you get injured. So most people don't know, but stretching is like, even if you're just working out regular, even if you, Barely ever work out. Do heavy stretching because I've seen it like, you know, my mom is super old now and 
she can like, she's like walking like this. And I'm like, when's the next time, when's the last time you stretched? Like, if you sit on a computer all day, you're gonna, you need a stretch. You gotta stretch out your back. Um, uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go over, um, you know, you can look up yoga stretches. Yoga is the best. Yoga's got the best. Anything yoga is gonna make your, is gonna improve your flexibility a lot. So just look up yoga stretches. The best one is P90X. P90X has, you know, um, I do P90X yoga stretches for stretching. So look up P90X, get the freaking yoga program. P90X yoga is awesome. It's like an hour and a half long, but I just grab pieces of it and I incorporate that in my everyday routine for stretching. So that's how I learned. Um, I don't just make this crap up. And so that's, uh, that's how you do 500 pull-ups and then go run 10 miles. So hope you guys learned something. I know you guys learned something. So, you know, do a thumbs up. Do a comment. Smash the thumbs up like fucking uh, that one uh, MM Crypto guy. Uh, There's a German accent. So yeah, um, that sounds good. Let me know your questions. And then uh, I'll do another video of uh, like what my stretches are. I'll do a more in-depth video. I'll do one of those. And then I'll even do uh, how to do tire flips. Um, tire flips, you got to retape your hand a little bit differently. So I'll go over that in another video. So rock on, guys. All right, I forgot to mention, um, to run the 10 miles, you need you need shoes. You need to get running shoes. I'm gonna I'll show you a picture of them in a. Second. So you have to get running shoes. They don't so they don't twist. It's hard to twist them because if they twist. And when you run for so long, your knees will start kind of caving in a little bit, like bending. You don't want your knees to bend. So that's what causes knee pain. So you gotta get running shoes, not Nikes or Adidas. I don't even think they have Adidas. I, uh, my running shoes, I don't even know the name of them, they're, but they're, they're for running. They're not expensive. They, well, everything went up in price, so they're actually $130 now, but they used to be only 100 bucks. So. I don't even know the brand of it, but I'll, I'll upload a picture. Um, I recommend them, they work great. And then, um, but you need running shoes. That way, the knee pain, you know, when you get about eight and a half miles, that's when the pain starts coming in, um, for me at least. And so, you gotta have running shoes so your knees don't don't hurt. So nobody told me that till I actually just went in the, the running store and there, I kept, I was like, my knees hurt like crazy. and. She said, yeah, it's your shoes. You gotta get, I showed her my shoes and I had some uh, unarmored shoes and she's like, no, those are way too soft. They twist like this. So she showed me some running ones and then, and I got them and he, no more knee pain. So if you got knee pain, it's because of your shoes.